Good morning, Mustangs. Welcome back for another great school year. I'm Dr. Brown Griffin. I'm in charge of ninth grade and 11th grade A through G. Good morning, Mustangs. My name is Mr. Ferreras. I'm the 12th grade dean, and I'm also in charge of 11th grade PE through Z. Good morning, Mustangs. My name is Mrs. Coffey Wilson. I'm in charge of 10th grade and also 11th grade H through PD. Okay, Mustangs, I'm going to discuss with you level one offenses. Your level one offenses includes cheating, classroom disruption, disorderly conduct, disrespect, dress code, failure to report to detention, false misleading information, insubordination, misconduct on a school bus, profane language, repeated misconduct, tardiness, unauthorized absence from class or school, that is also skipping, other and unsubstantiated bullying. Your level one offenses, every referral will be looked at closely on a case-by-case -case basis. Some of the consequences might differ based on unique, the student's unique needs. Your level one offenses, I'm sorry, your level one consequences will range anywhere from possible detention down to OSS. Now we'll discuss your level two offenses. Destruction of property or vandalism under $100, disrespect, fighting, horse playing, forgery, gambling, insubordination, open defiance, intimidation, threats, misconduct on the school bus, repeated misconduct, less serious, stealing under $50, unauthorized assembly, bullying, other serious misconduct, gang-related offenses, and a harassment. Like level one offenses, your level two, each referral will be looked at closely and on case-by-case -case basis. So some consequences, again, may differ based on the unique, student's unique needs. Your level two consequences can range from one day of pass to OSS. Good morning again, Mustangs. Now we're going to discuss uh, level three offenses and some of the consequences that come with them. Uh, some of these offenses include battery, vandalism, disrespect, fighting, gross insubordination, illegal organization, possession of contraband material, smoking, use of or possession of tobacco products, trespassing, bullying, other serious misconduct. Level three offenses are major acts of misconduct. They include repeated misconduct acts from level two, serious disruptions of the school order, threats to the health, safety, and property of others, and other acts of serious misconduct. The misconduct must be reported right away to the school administrator who may remove the student from the school or activity immediately. These, the consequences for these misconduct may include pass, OSS, peer mediation, or a no contact contract. Good morning, Mustangs. We will now discuss our level four offenses. Our level four infractions include alcohol, arson, theft to employees, battery of an employee or student or volunteer, bomb threats, drug use or possession, false fire alarms, firearms, inciting, leading, and participating, larceny or theft of 300 or more, other weapons, repeated misconduct, robbery, extortion, sexual battery, sexual harassment, sexual offenses, motor theft of a vehicle, vandalism over $1,000, drug distribution, selling or buying, bullying, harassment, hazing, physical attack, or sexual assault. Level four acts of misconduct are the most serious. Any level four act is grounds for expulsion and will result in mandatory 10 day suspension with consideration for recommendation for expulsion. Um, for our final uh, topic of discussion, Mustangs, we would like to address a few changes to our dress code policy as well as our ID policy. This year, uh, we are requiring that all tops must have a sleeve. No tank tops, no sleeve 
less dresses, etc., etc. Also, when it comes to IDs, you must have an ID on you at all times during school time. I'm sorry, during school hours and during school activities. Uh, please be sure to get an ID at the media center if you have not received one yet. Finally, teachers, uh, please, at the end of this video, collect the signed copy of the code of conduct and please be sure to return it to room 519. Thank you.